Okay, guys, so now we're ready to come in and add all the details and make this sculpt look lovely. So this is the fun part, and let's come in here and see how this is done. So we've got our rough block, and even though we've been talking for a while now and explaining all the tools, this is, would really be thrown together in a, in a couple, you know, 15 minutes or so when you get this down. So it might be a good idea just to practice the block a few times at home if you, you haven't already got to this level. So now that we're here, we want to put in all the details and make this guy look lovely and add this mean looking face and croc style mouth here. So let's see how this is done. So the first thing is we have returned to this mesh, this base mesh that was made with the primitives. So this isn't the one with the Dynamesh workflow. We did use Dynamesh, but it's not the one where we just dragged it out. It was made with the primitives all combined and then Dynamesh together. So that's where we're starting. The next thing is, why don't we just here straight away do our Z remesher? So just click on that button with the defaults and that will give us a pretty dense mesh, uh, but a really lovely base mesh to sculpt on. So what happens with Dynamesh, it gives you all these ugly points around the, the three quarter marks and models, whereas the Z remesher will make it all look pretty decent and nice around the whole mesh there. And it just becomes a lot easier to work with because we're working with a bit of a lower res mesh. And there's no problems with us sculpting on this and just resing it up. So I'll take that off there and straight away I just want to add a couple of divisions so that's two levels control D control D remembering that shift D by the way is to get down the level so it's control D goes up and then shift D goes down now once you've got the levels there you, you no longer have to hit control D so you'll you'll be down on the lower levels and you'll hit control D and it'll give you a warning and it'll say what, what are you doing well it's already got levels so just hit D now so D is navigate up shift D is navigate down Control D is add a new level and you must be at the top level in order to add a new one to divide further. So that's Control D. That one, well, we can actually delete the lower levels uh, with a hotkey. That's lower the levels, Shift D, and then to go up is just D. Now that we're here, we've got a, a much nicer mesh that we can actually surf up and down the, the levels with. So we want to sort of prepare a few things and just get the basic shape a bit better. And then we're going to draw in the mouth and sort of tweak the eyes a little bit. So let's have a look at this. Bring up our ref again. And I'm just going to be really quite hacky here. And with the move, just move that up. So if, you, if you're following this at home, just, just look at the brushes that I'm using here. I'll be hitting the hotkeys quickly to change between them now. So just roughly getting that in place. Not going to worry about those bumps until the end. We're not going to worry about the mouth too much. But we do want to get this form matching a little bit better. Quite a lot better, actually. So just coming in through here, smoothing out some of these shapes. Now, I'm still not worried too much about that point. We could move that forward, but I'm going to do that even later. I just want to sort of leave that where it is for now. We're going to be doing more uh, Z remesher for the mouth. So this is not our final base mesh. So from the front view, it's not too bad. Eyebrows can be a lot further over that way. Just a rough kind of a shape. It can be hard to tell from just the front view, but we can certainly get into not too bad a place. Just smoothing that out a bit. Okay. So take 